What is the making of a great actor? What do you see when you've met those people? What are some of the ingredients of great actors? What okay, so here's Leo in the um, trailer on Gilbert Grape playing video games, right? And knock on the door, it's the first AD, says, come on. Leo looks at me, he says, you wanna go? I said, yeah. And he puts in this brace, which kind of gave him a little hair lip, right? And he just went as Leo, the, the kind of, you know, challenged kid out to the set. He didn't do, you know, preparation or anything. Not that anything's wrong with preparation. He just was himself. I mean, I like when I see an actor that their first time and they're just there. You just feel them, you know? And, and Bernard said something to me, which is so special. I said, well, how do you work with people that English is their second language? He said, well, work. He says, they feel it. And I went, God, that's it. That's what I like to see. Actors that arrive in LA, what are three things that actors should do if they come to LA? What are three pieces of advice that you think you would give? Someone said it in passing, but it's 90% perspiration and 10% inspiration. Now think about that for a minute. You cannot make any mistakes. And especially today, we live in such an exciting time. We're not looking at the blonde, blue-eyed, handsome guy with the you know, we got little guys, short guys, heavy set guys. We got girls that are not, you know, like bombshell, right, you know, the three gorgeous. blonde. <laughs> we got cars. real people. We have many different platforms. Right. All of these platforms from YouTube to Netflix to Hulu to who and all the stuff. And, and we have so much opportunity today. I used to tell all my actors, you go in for an audition, self tape it before you go in. So just in case you get nervous, you fuck up, something happens, you throw it on the desk, you go, here, you, you got it. I just was so nervous and I've seen people get nerved out of, the, out of the room, you know? You get an audition, try to read the script. Try, because, you know, we were in a collaborative art. Like when you do a scene, you can't just do a scene and not listen to the other person. You can't do a scene and not look at Bernard, you cannot do and be in that without Bernard's participation. Ask for help. I still ask for help. You still ask for help. I still ask for help. Don't get resentful. You're going to be rejected and schmagected and to blah, blah, shut the door and they're not going to look at you. Just go, hey, whatever. What, what there's a saying, uh, I, I don't believe in miracles, I rely on them. He's got self-talk. Don't let that shit get to you, okay? It's, it's like cancer, self-talk. Negative self-talk. Negative self-talk, I'm sorry, I want to justify. But sometimes, you know, when you kind of like cheerful matter-of-factness, boom, 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 you know, I mean, you got to be considerate and have empathy and all that. But, you know, that self-talk, I can't do it, I maybe, it. You know, if you go around going, fuck, I can't get an agent, I can't get that producer on the phone, ah! Learn about what they are going through, you know? Think about all the calls that they're taking and all the stuff and all the- All the bump problems bump. on the other side, yeah. Yeah, just learn about what they're doing and have a little empathy for them. <laughs>